Hi guys, thank you for tuning into this video about the difference between uh, doing uh, wireframes and markups. Um, I get this. Uh, I got this question uh, a few days back, and I thought I'd just do a video uh, on it and uh, just elaborate uh, on on what's the difference uh, between these two um, very important things. Uh, my name is Chris, thank you for watching. If you don't know who I am, I am a uh, full-time freelancer in web design and I uh, have this channel on YouTube where I talk about web design, web development, uh, marketing, business development and experience design. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel uh, to stay up to date with new videos. I usually put out new videos uh, every Friday. If you have any uh, questions or comments feel free to write them in, in the comment section below or send me an email uh, and you're always welcome to connect with me on uh, Facebook and Twitter all the information is in the comment section below so jumping right into it uh, this is a, a wireframe that I did it's actually a bit of a side project for me uh, I'm doing a, a blog um, a, a sort of personal blog on uh, lifestyle design and uh, I I wanted to, uh, to to just get this finished uh, uh, quickly, so I actually didn't do the wireframes. But uh, when I do bigger projects, I do. Uh, projects for um, clients I always do wireframes because this is a vital part of the process of uh, developing a website and here I'm using uh, gomockingbird.com and it's a great tool online tool I, I really like it but you can use a lot of different tools you can use Photoshop you can use um, you can use uh, Illustrator you can use uh, Microsoft Visual or anything like that there's a lot of tools out there uh, both uh, applications and uh, and some uh, you know online app applications sorry so just to to get into it i've done videos before on this uh, subject so uh, so look for them but uh, you can see here i have a pretty simple uh, wireframe of the website you have a top level user menu up here and uh, this is where uh, I want to put the uh, contact uh, link and uh, the login link and the search uh, search field and you can you can definitely uh, put them in here but uh, remember this this wireframe the wireframe has no color it has no sort of graphics or text it's it is uh, it is it's, its only purpose is to uh, illustrate p uh, placement on the page. So uh, where do the elements go? So uh, we have here a uh, website name, sort of a bar uh, indicating this, and text uh, the brand text of the website, telling uh, the visitor what this website is about. And uh, down here we have a big block uh, indicating the uh, the 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 block text you know the blocks uh, on the website uh, over here at the uh, right column we have a an, uh, an image and uh, as you can see you know you are not you're not confused by images or colors or anything in in this part of the process so you just uh, have this box that indicates that as an image thus uh, uh, text about me a newsletter sign up uh, function down here and uh, down here in the bottom I, I hope it's not getting cut off too much um, but we have a uh, you know the footer the footer indicated uh, by this line and some footer text and down here in the corner we have some uh, social media links you know links to uh, or, or uh, you know uh, icons for Facebook and Twitter and so on um, and all these uh, I, I usually do them you know uh, on the basis of a hand drawn uh, sketch um, and in this stage where I do the wireframing uh, I always uh, tend to get into you know my my uh, my grid system and use that and uh, I, I use I put on you know the right sizes and and the right measurements uh, and, and, and so on uh, in this uh, stage just to get a really good feel of how much uh, space does these elements take and and how do how do they fit together um, 
So next up, let's take a look at how this looks as a mockup. So here we have the mockup, and as you can see, I'm doing this in HTML. Um, usually, I you know I I tend to to code uh, as quickly in HTML as I do in uh, as I uh, you know design in Photoshop or 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 any or anything else. Uh, uh, I I used to do this these mockups in uh, in uh, Adobe Fireworks too, but that's uh, sort of not relevant anymore. Uh, but for uh, for clients, I used I I tend to to do this in in Photoshop. Um, but as you can see, that's gotten uh, that we have got a lot more uh, color, a lot more uh, you know definition on the website. Uh, up here we have the the top level user uh, menu as I talked about have the login button here the contact button and the search field and you can see these are all sort of the real elements uh, the real form elements here but uh, but it doesn't work it's it's only you know plain HTML we have the the header here and uh, some colors on this we have the image here and in in this stage, in the mockup stage, you can use, you know, filler images or test images or, you know, I tend to, if if I'm using stock photography, uh, I just, you know, download and and a test image uh, and and it might say, you know, uh, 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 Shutterstock images uh, on 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 the image, but I don't want to, you know, go and buy a lot of images uh, if I'm not sure that the client client uh, will like them um, so here we have the the text and and uh, how it looks and it's just at this point it's just filler text it's just dummy text you know lorem ipsum uh, text here uh, down here at the right we have the about me section and again it's just quick filler text it's it's not it's uh, I, I didn't uh, work a lot of this uh, on on a lot of this text here the uh, the newsletter sign up as uh, as shown uh, before and again it's just a sort of a dummy uh, form but you can see there's uh, there's a lot more uh, uh, you know content on on the page and graphics on the page is, is being created here and you can and you can use this to play around with the colors you know uh, play around play, play around with the background color as I'm doing here and bear in mind this mockup is not uh, complete at all uh, it's it's still in the process of being designed but you can now see you know what type of typography is used uh, uh, what is the uh, what is the spacing? What is the margins and and padding between uh, text and images and so on? And and what is the different levels of headings in the text? Um, and and how does this overall look? And getting down to the footer here, you can see as I talked about, we have the footer text over here and some social uh, media uh, icons over here. Uh, and you know that's about it you know this this is just this is uh, the markup and this is to me uh, a way to you know really uh, get a feel of the website how it's going to look and uh, how the colors are, uh, are are getting along and 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 so on and you know uh, it's a it's a really great way to to you know now you don't you don't have to uh, think about where the the different uh, uh, elements are placed you just have to think about well does this look good is the text the right size uh, do I have the the right font and uh, you know if you've done your 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 preparing work on on your website you'll of course have thought a lot about these things but you you're never quite sure that things will work out until you actually see it in the, in the mock up um, so I hope it uh, it is a, a little more clear, uh, you know, what's the difference between a wireframe and a markup. Both is uh, very important in the process of uh, developing a, a website. Um, as I said, if you have any questions or comments, or if you do this uh, another way, I would 
really love to hear it. I'll, I'll, I would also love to hear what type of uh, you know tools you use to do you use to do this. Do you uh, do this in HTML like I do, or do you use uh, Photoshop or or, uh, or anything else? Uh, so that's it. You know, uh, remember to connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. So uh, don't be a stranger. See you later. Bye.